It's using Dia, and that's that, that's what proves it. Yeah, and Dia, of course, is the first of its kind digital identity platform being used uh, by government for to provide government services. So we started actually working before the war on the the notion of a, of a pilot program with respect to a large bank in Ukraine, Tascom Bank, de, de, uh, on developing the um, eHerivnia. We actually to provide the, the technology layer that they build on. Like we've been working with them, but the teams there have worked through the war to be able to make this happen. Actually, at the time when we met in uh, the, the period in 2021, they were very focused on moving to a cashless society and on bringing in as much technology into Ukraine as possible so that not only you could benefit from the, the Ukrainians could benefit from it, but you could actually take advantage of the population within Ukraine that was so digitally savvy and so focused on technological advancement. So in many ways, USAID has really prioritized the digital economy. We think it's an incredible uh, highlight of Ukraine's strength. Paradoxically, even though Ukraine is undergoing incredible pressure and devastation economically as a result of Russia's reinvasion, the Ukrainian tech sector has actually grown during the war. And again, I think that's an incredible indication not only of the ingenuity of the Ukrainian people, the strength of the sector uh, to not only survive, but frankly thrive amidst incredible pressure. Um, and then, of course, as you've described, which we're happy to get, discuss, I'm sure, on the panel, Ukraine has become a model for the region where countries, uh, those that are both inside the EU like Estonia, outside like Moldova, are looking east to Ukraine for the example that it's set on digital economy uh, to try to replicate and take the practices that the Ukrainians have uh, so nobly and innovatively described and model it for their own countries. And I think USAID is, uh, is really going to continue to be a proud partner of the technology sector to support Ukraine's digital, uh, digital strength and recovery uh, as the country grows after the war.